All right, just doing a quick uh, video vlog in front of Villaville Palmar Flamingos in Nueva Varada, uh, just up from Puerto Vallarta in Banderas Bay. Um, this is a four star, they say five star resort. The service is great. Um, it is very heavily timeshare influenced. They always want you to do a meeting, try to sell you on points, get you a timeshare, that kind of stuff. Uh, but it, it is a nice resort. So if you're looking for a place to stay, it's definitely, you could do worse. A um, little bit older crowd for sure. Uh, definitely not a party scene. There's no swim up bar. There's no disco, you know, that kind of thing. They do have bars, like you can drink and you can still have a good time. But uh, if you're looking for something after 10 p.m., kind of in the lobby, they got some drinks going at the lobby bar and, and that's about it. Uh, or of course you can always go to your room. So uh, come with me, we'll go for a little walk. So we're on the beach area now. You can see they got all the vendors, massage, guy with the parachute, people doing braids, selling rings, sand scarves, all that kind of stuff. Which, you know what, it's nice to have because souvenirs are nice, everything's nice. It's actually my son right there. His hair's getting longer, so let's put some braids on. Uh, it's the beach area. Chairs, there's always quite a few. It's not a really super busy resort. Um, we got a beach bar right here. Which is nice if you want to drink on the beach and then we we'll come up into the resort so just come up on the stairs and then as soon as you get up top which is nice we've got showers right here so i'm gonna go ahead wash my feet off cleaned up in the sand as i was in the waves walk over Obviously, you can see the beach behind me. And then if I turn around, so this is the pool. It's a big pool. They only got one pool, but it is a huge pool. And then there's a couple of restaurants out here. So this is a pizza restaurant all day long. You can get pizza and actually kind of like a full menu that you can get there. Um, at night, some nights they have it open for a little nicer dinner. Some nights they don't. Then this, El Patron. This is the main restaurant. So that's where a breakfast buffet is every day. Uh, we also have dinner at that restaurant. Um, so all day long. I don't actually think you can do lunch here, but you do have, you, you have breakfast and you have dinner there. Um, this is not always an all-inclusive resort. I did buy the all-inclusive, um, which is good because the prices here are quite expensive, um, but it's not not really a typical typical all-inclusive and that's because the rooms all have like kitchenettes in them so you have fridges you've got cooking places you, you, you know you could just go to walmart or whatever get groceries and eat some of your stuff in the room if you want um, they do have another restaurant um, down here and this is what they call the taco bar a um, little nicer so a lot of times in these types of resorts a taco bar is like kind of a messy go there and grab your nachos or whatever this is a sit down area where they have a chef out front grilling some things up a server will bring you a menu they'll bring you some food and that's right there and that's called uh tomatillos so yeah it's right there and if we come around this corner you're gonna see uh, everything is so well manicured i'll give them that this is a, a really nicely looked after resort the grass is nice the plants are nice um, they actually have a hot tub and <laughs> it is hot uh, late at night it does cool off they leave this open till 10 and they actually have a fire here so the fire um, is super hot on you if it's a hot night uh, <laughs> we tried sitting out there one night when it was hot and it was just way too hot hot tub fire but as it gets cooler later in the evening it can be nice um, and then they've got another path that just kind of comes down to a green space with a bench and it, it's nice to sit on if you don't want to sit on the beach which is great now lounge chairs they've got lots of lounge chairs however just like lots of resorts they do, do get tied up early so if you're a big pool sitter you might want to get down by i'd say nine o'clock and get yourself a seat around the pool where you want to sit let's go for a walk all right let's go kind of nice they have a couple of different infinity styles with the pools so this is one here behind me and then another one off to the side this is like i said the taco bar and then this is kind of the main 
pool bar. So it's not a bar, a swim up bar or anything, but, and you can go up and get a drink here, but really this is for the waiting staff. That's where they get all their drinks from. And they prefer it probably if you are just ordering drinks from the lounge chairs. Again, a lot of people aren't all inclusive, so that's good money for them serving people at the lounge. Even if you are all inclusive, you can just get the drinks there. Um, really nice job with the shrubs and stuff. You see the dolphin that's been carved out there. And then, not that this is 100% a family park, because there's no slides or anything, but we do see some young kids here. Uh, they've got a nice little splash area, which is nice for young ones or anybody who just wants to splash around. Uh, nice stairs, ease of access into the pool is great. Um, it's not really deep, deep anywhere. The fountains there, they do turn off, and that actually is where volleyball is played. And then you can see they got a couple waterfall features over there. Yeah. Now, as we come around, so they've got another spot for drinks and food. Um, two spots for food, actually. So the one spot is called the uh, uh, crepe, Crepetorium? Crepe, crepery? Crepery. Yeah, crepery. So they just make sweet crepes there you know you can have strawberry and caramel or chocolate or whatever you want for stuff like that and then uh the other place to eat is actually their what they consider kind of their fine dining restaurant um, which i really like here it is uh yashinoki and it's a sushi restaurant um so they got more than just sushi you can get like sweet and sour chicken and stuff like that but uh we ate there the other night the sushi was great everything was great the service is great it's a small little atmosphere but it was nice and then this area here, they do up kind of every few nights in a different theme. If you're not all inclusive, it's very expensive. It can be like $59, $60 US to get in. The dinner and the show that they put on, we did Cuban night the other night, great buffet. Uh, tonight is a seafood buffet and uh, some kind of entertainment. Might even be Michael Jackson, um, but it, it should be pretty good. Uh, then, they do have a kids club. So again, not that the resort's not entirely designed for kids because they do have a kids club. Look, there's a puppet show at three. And then you can see down there, there's some kids activities. Uh, in here, this is what I call the closing room because that's where the timeshare happens. After they give you a presentation, show you the, the property, feed you, they take you in there. And they, just like most timeshares, really try to close you. They are strong, strong. Uh, fountains up front here. As we come up, we're coming into the lobby area. It's all really beautiful. You can see the resort behind me. Nice shaded areas to sit. You get ice cream, milkshakes, crepes. If you get all inclusive, for some reason, this is really weird to me, ice cream and milkshakes are not included. Uh, drinks are but not premium and it's weird premium isn't necessarily like you got corona you can get um nice vodka bacardi that kind of stuff but you can't get sky vodka gray goose crown royal patron anything that's they consider top shelf i guess you know for their area so. and this is the lobby so see membership office that's the elite membership uh, that's if you spend a lot more points. So this property, uh, 5,000 points used to be elite. I think they brought that up to 7,000 maybe now, which is a lot, that's expensive. And then this is the lobby bar. Uh, so this is the one that's open the latest. Put sports on there. I watch football on Sunday. Um, they got another TV over there you can watch and you can just kind of hang out here. Now this piano is uh, like a, a antique or something. It's it's just supposed to be for decoration. I was in here the other night and we actually opened it up and played it and sang songs around there and were really loud and it was a super bunch of fun. We didn't hurt anything. They did ask us to stop playing. Um, they actually let us continue, but then at 11, they're like, people are sleeping. Again, not a party resort, but we were having a really good time. So in the lobby itself, as you expect in most places like this, uh, really high ceilings, nice chandeliers, fountain feature in the middle here there's the check-in desks and then kind of behind me here on both sides that's where you check in all your timeshare stuff so all right just coming right out front here 
get you an idea what it's like to get dropped off here. So this little area, if you're here for a timeshare presentation, that's where they literally start you. Have you fill out a questionnaire, ask if you have a credit card, ask you a bunch of qualifying questions, and then start to give you a demo. So uh, they do have a little convenience store market. Um, also has like pastries and like this coffee stuff, food, breakfast stuff in there. Um, actually the market's kind of good it's got groceries for your room it's got booze it's got um, all the sun stuff you could want that kind of thing really handy considering that almost everything here has a suite so it's nice to have that real quick easy convenience you can also go to the mega or the walmart get everything cheaper but it's actually not that bad priced in there so it is decent so as you can see behind me nice big opening to this place this is a newer facility and it is kept really clean which is nice now gonna walk over this way um, we're gonna head over to where their convenient or uh, not convenience con convention center is um, oh and by the way very convenient location you're right across from the trail that goes to Bucerias and Bucerias has some really good dining some nice little quaint shopping uh, so if you're not staying all inclusive and you want a 10 minute walk to some dining options you're there and it's nice um, so down here is the convention center. So we'll just go for a little quick walk. I uh, just take this little path and you'll literally probably never come down here unless you're miraculously here for a business meeting or I guess a wedding maybe, um, but timeshare stuff. So a lot of times they'll take you there for breakfast uh, or if they're having some kind of a timeshare members meeting. It'll be in there. So. This is the general outdoor area, and then through those doors is a little room. Well, it's like a bigger room. It's not huge, but you know, just 50 people, no problem. Okay, so it's eight floors tall, the building. Um, there is good and bad rooms. So it seems to me, if you're using timeshare points, booking as a timeshare member, you almost always get a nice room. You'll get a room facing the pool or the ocean, and they're all really nice. We're standing on the fifth floor right now. Uh, if you bought really, really cheap, you might get one of the backside rooms of the resort. Not nice at all. I'm sure the rooms are nice, but you have zero view or anything else. Um, those ones, maybe not so great. Uh, anyways. Okay. So, as we walk through, now you'll see there's actually another building right here. And this is the new building, and that is a Four Diamond Resort. It's a newer resort, and they're trying to sell timeshares to that one for even more points because it's even fancier. Uh, Elsincia, I think that one is called. Anyways, uh, taking us around, we're on the back side of the timeshare uh, closing room. So if you can see through there, you'll see the pool, and this is where you uh, where you buy your timeshare if you're going to buy one. Um, you know, I don't know, timeshares are hit or mess. I got one, so I guess it's not saying. Um, and, and actually, it's been not bad. Other than the uncomfortable pressure of how they present things and want you to buy things, the rest of it's okay. The planning and booking isn't amazing, but hopefully they get a little better at that. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just taking a tour now. I'm gonna go back around the other side of the pool. This is kind of the avenue you take when you're going to your rooms. Uh, I've got another video up on my room. So I have a studio. You can get different rooms. Studios are the cheapest. Studios are the ones you'll see if you're booking through Costco or if you're booking uh, with minimal points. Um, it's really nice. Like we've got a huge room, king size bed. We've got the kitchenette in there. There's nothing wrong with a studio. Then you can get a one bedroom where you have like a living room. Uh, even our studio, we have a couch, but you have like a bigger dining area and a one bedroom. So it's really like a one bedroom apartment or condo or something. Uh, you can get a two bedroom or then you can get, I think they got villas up top. And of course, those are the most amount of money when they got hot tubs and everything on the villas. So once again, in Mexico, you need a hot tub. I don't know if you need a hot tub, but we're back around to the bar now. Very nice. Thanks for coming on the tour. Go to Omar Flamingos. I uh, will make a few more uh, videos before this is over. Um, but now you know about that. 
All right, have a great day, everyone. Oh, do me a huge favor. Click subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications, and you'll get notified every time I make a video.